Hi, today I'm going to show you how to correctly use Julie emulator program Mercedes CR1 with CAN infrared with video MSE ECU, which has two yellow plugs and X24 C02 memory. I will also show you how to personalize it using star diagnosis. Remove seven screws from the ECU and take off the cover. Find X24 C02 memory and mark the location of the first leg. Unsolder the memory and clean the soldering pads from tin. You can learn how to do this by watching another video on our channel. Programming X24 C02 memory. Put the cleaned memory into the adapter, keeping in mind the location of the first memory leg. Place the adapter into the programmer. Open the program dedicated to this programmer and select X24 C02 memory. Then, read the contents of the memory and make sure to make a backup of the original content. Now, click Edit. In line 050, write values 02, 03, 00, FF, 00, 20 and click OK. Program the memory. Now, solder the memory, keeping in mind the location of the first memory leg. Solder Jumper J6 in Julie Emulator. Solder the wires to the ECU the way you see on the screen. Can low Can high Ground Power Connect the ECU on the table. Start diagnosis. ECU personalization step by step. After connecting with the ECU, select the following HFM, ME2, Control Unit Version, and check if the number is the same as the one on the label. Check actual values and drive authorization. Here you can check the status of the ECU. If everything has status no, do the following steps.
click back twice, control module adaptations, and variant coding. Click enter and read or perform coding. The most important step is to write the code number. There's a question at the bottom of the screen. Coding entered in new engine control module? Click yes. Turn the ignition off and on. Compare the code number with the one you wrote before. If they are the same, click Enter. Click Yes. Now you can write the correct vehicle identification number. Once again, turn the ignition off and on. The blue LED lights constantly and blinks every other second. White LED is power. Click back twice. Check actual values and drive authorization once again. Now you see the permission to start the vehicle. The status of every selected box should be yes. Very important! If the car sometimes doesn't start after the personalization, the LED on the emulator blinks fast, cut plus 12 volts from the ECU and connect it to plus 12 volts ignition. Thanks for watching! If you like the video, Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.